Friday means it's Roadie Roundup time, and we have a fantastic lineup of guests today. We have Amy from Light 105, musician Pat McGee, and we also have influencer Camilla from Shut Up, Camilla. <laughs> you guys have all been here before, so this is not anybody's first rodeo. So I'm going to kick it off because it's hot. Mm -hmm. We're going through a heat wave right now. So where are we going? What are we doing in Rhode Island? Amy, I'll kick it off with you. I mean, the beaches, of course. I prefer kind of going later in the day when it's a little bit cooler. Yes. Um, but also to work because that's like the coldest place on earth, right? Like the <laughs> office, anyone's <laughs> office, right? If you work in an office, like I forgot my sweater the other day and I was like, well, I can't complain though. No. Right, you're like, you like can't go buy one. Out. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, those two places. All right, yeah. Pat, what about you? Uh, probably where we met. Kenburn. Yes, cool. that's yeah. right. I know. We, we saw each other yeah. the other day. I mean, it is hot. I'm still cheering. <laughs> cool. I see your folks there cheering on your Victoria, and it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, we either jump in the pool, or I said to uh, these girls, I'm like, when my daughters go to the beach, I feel like I have, I feel guilty when I don't go to the beach. Yeah. Island. The fact that they're going, and I'm like at home with Jack and the AC or whatever. Just like chilling. Yeah. 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 So, the beaches. Kim, what about you? I'm all about the cold drinks. So, uh -oh. for me, an iced coffee, classic, yes. of course, mm -hmm. Duncan. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But besides that, Mr. Lemon, Tutti Frutti, oh. by far, every single day during the summer. They no know me. Way. They know my order. Okay. They know me by now. The other day, I saw them, and they're. I brought my boyfriend, and he. They were like, "It took you so long <laughs> to bring him." But that is my go-to way to say nice, nice and, and cool. Nice and cool, wow. especially yes. right now. This weekend too, it's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So I'll start with Pat on this All one. Right. Okay. I don't know if everybody saw the Barbie movie. Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. I'm but not. it's obviously trending like crazy. Yes. It's no sales for Barbie are soaring. Oh is there God. a toy from your childhood? Because I used to play with the Barbie. My mom found yeah. the original Barbie, all nostalgic, you know, those feelings. Any toy that comes to mind for you that you used to play with and maybe still have? Oh, my God. Maybe you I kept. definitely don't have any of them. I mean, I, I think because I was the baby in my family, I had, like, my brothers and sisters had toys, maybe. Yeah. And I got whatever was laying around. It's like That's my youngest again. daughter has, like, no toys. Yeah. And no pictures of herself. Like, the whole thing. Oh. Right. Um, I don't know. I was more, like, into maybe... Uh, you know, matchbox cars yeah. and like, uh, but I was more into sports, so like probably a basketball, basketball. to be honest with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, absolutely. Um, you know, that's, and I'm still using that. It makes me feel like a kid, so. I love it. Yeah. Well, what about you? Any toys that a maybe? Furby. Oh, my Ruby, yes. Oh, wow. yeah. They used to like shake, am mm -hmm. I right? Okay. Oh, Furby. They, like they used think. to like talk and every once in a while, it's still downstairs in my parents' basement. It like turns on, which is a little <gasps> creepy and they look a little creepy now that I'm older, but they're still right down there with all my other like Beanie Babies and oh, the, beanie mm -hmm. babies, the Polly Pockets. The Beanie Babies, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that the Furby though, one of those that you couldn't find anywhere? It was almost like that Cabbage Patch like when we were kids? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Amy, what about you? Definitely Barbies. Yes. Um, we probably played <laughs> Barbies saying, together. Played yeah. Together. <laughs> uh, Barbies also, um, you know, just I had these things called um, Glamour gals, and oh, they were yes. like tiny little like dolls this big, and they you like I, my sister and I had like the glamour gals like <laughs> rock and roll stage. It was amazing, and they were like this big. I probably I just aged myself. Them? No. no. See, my mom not. just found a box of toys, which oh, is what yeah. I thought of when we were coming up with questions yeah. for this. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, all of these. I mean, I don't know if I want the kids playing with them, but like, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, they have the, the Toys That Made Us show. Have you seen that? It's pretty good. Yeah. It talks yes, about all the toys right. in the 80s, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, you can check that out. Okay, so last question. So an article just came out that said, you know, these are things that you should do every day to make you happy. So they said, clean out your inbox for your email, you know, wake up earlier, drink a cup of coffee. What's one thing without fail every day that you do that makes you happy? Camilla? I like literally lay on the ground with my cat and I just give him like snuggles. That's literally, I'm not kidding, but it brings That's me it. so much joy. Why? And he's 17 years old and he's my little baby. So it just brings me so much happiness. That and that's one thing that I always do. Every yeah. day without fail, I love that. Yeah. Aim, what about you? Uh, <laughs> I told her to keep it clean. I'm clean. Mm -hmm. um, I press snooze. That's a good one. No, no but seriously, wake up earlier, you I do. It, it's pretty bad though because it's it, but it does make me happy because it just means eight more minutes. Yes. Of sleepy time. Then I'll get up and I'll, you know, lay down with my little uh, yeah. my cat too. I love that. Yeah. Pat, what about you? Uh, if I had an animal, I would definitely do that. I used to have dogs, so I, I can remember those moments where you just lay there and like you, you speak my language. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not talking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, is it wrong to say like? sort of happy hour time of the day when you're like <laughs> no. I sit because I like to cook so or order out whatever it is that moment right before you're about to eat and 
you know, a glass of wine. Absolutely. Oh, that's that's like every day for fail. me. I don't care if it's like, you know, a burrito and a, and a glass of wine. I'm that's still it. like, oh, this, is, this is awesome. I'm the same way. I love that. Thanks, so. guys. Yeah. Always Thank great you. having you here. Thank you. And as always, great catching up with everybody. And I will have this full segment online later. Back to you guys.